Hey guys, Jordan Wade here for City Lights on Novus TV in front of the Rio Theater for a brand new edition of The Gentleman Hecklers. You may ask, what are The Gentleman Hecklers? Well, it's kind of a mix of live comedy, jeering over cheering, and oh so riveting cinema. Tonight, the gentlemen are going to heckle Stallone's Cobra. Yo, Adrian, let's check it out. Okay, we are here with Sean, Patrick, and Eric, the Gentleman Hecklers, and this is the interview, happily being done in front of the interview sign. Yes, we didn't plan that at all. So, who exactly are the Gentleman Hecklers, and what exactly do you do? We're the Gentleman Hecklers. We provide live, hilarious commentary for the best bad movies. We provide a service to both the audience and to the movie itself. And to society as a whole. We're saving lives. We pretty much save lives. That's what we do. This we is, save lives. This is pretty much the most important job anyone has ever had. Doctors have come up to us and said, I could never do what you do. So how did this whole crazy idea come about, guys? Uh, well, uh, we're all fans of uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, what we do is called movie riffing, and that was an art form started by Joel Hodgson. Uh, who created Mystery Science Theater. And John and I, we did, uh, we riffed a few short films, like educational shorts and stuff, and then uh, I pitched the idea to the Rio Theater about doing full-length movies. They said yes, so Sean and I started The Gentleman Hecklers. And we invited Patrick to join us for a show, and Patrick joined us forever. Yeah, well, I, I said, have you done all the heavy lifting and hard work? They said yes. I said, I would like to be a part of this. Your history. Damn! You won't do a pig. You won't shoot. He just burned a guy alive. It's against the law. What? He has literally you shot like 40 me. people right in front of you in has, the last five minutes. Has this guy not seen the movie? What was the, the reasoning or thinking behind doing Cobra? Basically, I think that Cobra is uh, indicative uh, and reflecting on the same type of style that we've done in that we don't take mainstream, quote unquote, bad movies. We take films that maybe people aren't familiar with, but if you, get... the wonderful thing about the world we live in now is you can Google anything and can say, wow, hard ticket to Hawaii, I've never heard of it, but that looks awful, I can't wait to see them do that. It was or, great. yeah, or you can be like, Cobra, oh my, what? I had so many people say, I didn't even know this movie existed. And then people were like, what, and Bridget Nielsen, and so I, that is part of the fun. A lot of the movies that we do that I really enjoy, I actually really enjoy the movie. Yeah. Um, it's true. Know, there, there are some that we've done that I, I really hate. Bulletproof. I, I hate bulletproof. Slug, slugs I found uncomfortable because I just it was uncomfortable it was, and gross. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of the things I want to do with Gentleman Hecklers is to have that sense of discovery of finding that cool thing, you know? Like, oh yeah, they're gonna do Batman and Rob. Well, wow, yeah, that is a famously terrible movie. But if we do something like Cobra, um, you know, which I remember from my youth, you remember from yes. your youth. Do you remember it? Nope. Okay. So 33 percent of the people haven't heard of it and they're gonna come look at what the hell is this movie and they're gonna remember our version of cobra why is she still so wet somebody get her a towel why don't you take a minute think about it think about all the life choices that led you to this uh, movie did you have a fight with anyone no you owe money to anybody no been around drugs people who deal in drugs well not for another 20 yeah. 25 years <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay, Brad, what were your thoughts on The Gentleman Hecklers tonight? Uh, they were pretty awesome tonight, actually. I liked them. Uh, we've actually been, I've seen every show for like a, the past year, actually. It's, it's hard to explain when you want to go people to come see a bad movie, but it's so bad that it's good. It's hard to sell them on that, but the, uh, the Gentleman Hecklers uh, definitely uh, make it better. Do you have a favorite uh, Gentleman Heckling memory? Um, I think Over the Top was probably one of the greatest ones they did. Another Stallone movie. I guess, I guess Stallone's easy to make fun of. No, it's hard to make fun of because he really appreciates how cheesy he is himself. So you have to out-cheese him, right? It's a challenge. I appreciate that they can rise to it. Okay, Courtenay and Olga, um, how was this gentleman heckling experience for you? 
I, it was really good because the movie was so bad that the, the heckling really made it entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it made the movie more, uh, well, it made it a better watch. Do you have a favorite heckle or a favorite heckling moment that you can recall? I think when they impersonate Sylvester Stallone's voice, because yeah. he only has like, he's a monotone voice. Can you guys try to do an impression of their impression? <laughs> I can help you out. Yo, yo, I'm, I'm Marion Cobretti. I forgot I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Well, there's been a whole lot of heckling hilarity down here at the Rio Theater. And maybe I'll take a seat now before I get heckled. Hey, pal, sit down. Sorry. For City Lights and Nova TV, I'm Jordan Wade.